Aziz Ojolari already has three sacks, two tackles for a loss, and a forced fumble in his first five NFL games. So that begs the question, what is it that is coming so well for you right now? How is it your game is translating so quickly? Yeah, I mean, I just say the preparation, just coming in, doing what I'm supposed to do, just trying to get better every single day, just keeping my head down, learning from the older guys that are already here, and just trying to just get better every day, you know? That's, that's we got to give a little credit to Georgia now, just a little bit, playing yeah. in the SEC. Yeah. Could you tell me some of the things that you've been able to utilize here that worked so well for you when you were in school? Yeah, I mean, I'd say just uh, the competitiveness, the physical, physicality that we play with every week at the SEC. It's just like the NFL. Everyone's competitive. Everyone's competitive in the SEC. So it's just been, been with me my whole time at college, and I'm just bringing it up here. Just take it along with me. I'm sure you had some very fun practices against Andrew Thomas yeah. across from you in school. Oh, yeah. And you're probably having some here as well. <laughs> is that an iron sharpens iron kind of thing that you're both making each other better? Yes, sir. Definitely is. We've been doing this in college every day. Competitive team run, one-on-one -on -one pass pro, everything. Every single day we're getting the best out of each other and just making each other better every day. So you got a little friendly competition going Definitely. on. Definitely. Always. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about what it's like to play with two other Georgia linebackers. I mean, Penn State says they're linebacker you, but maybe yeah, Georgia nah, is as Georgia. far as the Giants are I concerned Georgia, between Crowder and yeah. Carter. I was just lovely, man. Just having your brothers with you, just preparing me every single day, just easing me through it step by step. It's just a blessing to have those two guys that I've been knowing from a while back at Georgia. Just with me here now is just a, the chemistry we got together is just great and just them together just helping me every, as, every single day as the step goes. So I'm great. sure you guys talked about playing in the NFL someday yeah. and maybe on opposite sides. Right. Could you ever <laughs> imagine you don't be on the same team? Nah, I never imagined it. Just look at God just blessed us for this opportunity and just having us all here together is just great. It's crazy. I need to ask you about the tradition of this team because Joe Judge talks a lot about it yeah. and he wants the young players to understand it. Right. You know the linebackers who have Man. come through these walls Definitely. between Banks and Carson yeah. and Taylor. Yeah. How we'll much see. do you pay homage to those guys and do you ever go back and look at some of those tapes? Yeah, a lot. I, use, I watch O.C. a lot. Well, I, he stood up sometimes yeah, but he was more of a defensive end. But yeah, a pass rush in nonetheless. Pass in. <laughs> O.C., uh, you know, LT, the greatest of all time. Come on now. like. Just watching them play, how they play out there every single snap, they let it loose. They impact the game at a big time. And it's just, it's crazy how they play. And I just want to model my game after them just for the respect. Come out here, got to go hard for them. Those guys that have been here, been through everything, mm -hmm. just for the respect of them, just it's crazy. To this point, what has been the biggest hurdle and the biggest challenge of making the adjustment to the NFL? Uh, biggest hurdle, I say, uh, I, it's, it's, been, it's been smooth for me, but I say just knowing my opponent, watching more film and getting the details of each opponent I'm going against every week, just learning more about that, watching more film and just knowing how to beat them and just knowing every single detail about them. So that's that's the biggest. All right, final question. Matthew Stafford, oh, yeah. only been sacked four times this year. Of all the regulars in the NFL, that's yeah. the fewest sacks of any NFL quarterback. Wow. Is it more because they're game planning to get rid of the ball quickly, or does he just have that clock in his head to get it out? Probably, uh, I could say he's part of both. Matt Stafford, you know, he's a vet. He knows when pressure's going to come, so I feel like he's definitely knowing when to get the ball out and let it loose before he gets the sack, before the uh, defender gets to him. Uh, sometimes I know they play action, run, pass, scheme, just to scheme in, just to, you know, just make sure to keep him safe. You know, we got to always protect the quarterbacks, but we definitely try to get to him this week. Aziz, <laughs> always good to see you. Best of Appreciate luck the it. rest of the way, and thanks Thank for you. your time. Thank you very much. Appreciate you.